I was talking to you guys over there, and, you know, things happen, problems happen, but it's can you be that person to fix that problem fast? And I feel like that is something you guys are trying to do real well, and I think that's probably a good good future path is that parts and service aspect. You know, I'm going to be honest. It's not if you crash, it's when. And <laughs> that has rang true for every single customer, <laughs> including myself. You know, I've been the guy to pull the, the, the pickup up to the back of the cornfield, and you butt in, you jump out, and you haul that thing through the corn, and you throw it in the back of the pickup, and it's totaled, you know, or something like Or it's in bad shape. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you bring that up. That's, that's really what we need, you know. Um, you think of any equipment. I can go buy a brand-new piece of equipment, and it's going to work good. And as soon as something happens, who's going to be there, you know? And then who's your next phone call after that? There's many instances where people, really not even close to us, bought their drone, found their drone somewhere, and... When it com- push comes to shove, I need my drone flying. Who can get me the parts? Yep. And, yeah, like you said, we have service techs out of all of our locations and constantly in touch with our distributors and constantly, you know, when we're not not a huge busy season for us, I would say like farm show season, mm-hmm. you know, when we're not, guys aren't flying more into the winter, we're testing these things, you know. Mm-hmm. What, what can this do, you know, we're... Last year was a beautiful winter. You know, we, sp- <laughs> we sprayed more acres in lar- March last year with water, just putting these to the test, doing comparisons than anything. So, yeah, yeah you're exactly right. That's a, hu- that's a huge part. Let's talk a little bit about that. What, you know, we talked about the capacity of, of 13.5 gallons. So uh, my guess is that's roughly uh, 100 pounds. Is that about, how, about yeah. the payload of, of, uh, of taking a, a cedar out? Yeah, the dry spreader capacity is rated at 110-pound payload. Now, you opened up a can of worms of variability right there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Dry urea to oat seed, barley, radish, you know, whatever you're spraying, seed size, weight of the seed, pounds per acre. We can't give you firm numbers until we know your plan on that. But, yeah, Yeah. 110-pound payload on there. Um, It makes a ton of sense. Up to 50, you know, Mm -hmm. 50 pounds an acre works great. Um, You start getting above that, just don't expect to be real productive that day, but agronomically the key to cover crop is timing you know i want to get this crop out here right before a rain it's going to rain on it canopy's closing late in the season we're going to germinate get the crop off sunlight on there i'm started in the winter spring rolls around that crops you know winter rye whatever it is it's 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 popping up your cover crop that's that's how it takes the biggest effect yeah you know so having that availability to do this into standing you know airplanes have done it Drone drones show a very good response and coverage and all that into corn and beans. So that's a big avenue people are starting to go down. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, so if you're putting cover crop down, um, is an operator sitting there the entire time that that drone is running? Or do they ever set it and, set it and forget it? I mean, walk away and, and come back in an hour. Does that... What uh, of course you would recommend that they're in the area at least, but yeah, yeah. But, uh, Don't go get lunch. Or something. <laughs> no, I, I'm just curious. Does that is that capable of that? Is that um, is that uh, is that something that uh, uh, people will do? And do you? See, I guess if we're not doing it right now, do you see people doing that here in the near future? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> more autonomy is clunk, is coming. Yep. How it works right now? You feel the hopper, put the new batteries in. It does its route. It either runs out of seed or battery first, and it comes back and lands. Mm-hmm. Now it's waiting for you. You know. Okay. So you are there to fill it up and put new batteries in in between every flight, spraying and spreading at this point. Full autonomy is around the corner. Um, you kind of hit, on, hit on it there. When can I have this thing at a station and it mm-hmm. does its thing and dings my phone when it's done with that field yeah. and I pull that base station on a trailer to the next field and walk away. I suppose we've been working heavily on the drone technology, um, but I would bet that the system for which you fill it and the system for which you you know, swap out those batteries, I would bet that that is probably a lot less developed now, I, would you say? Yeah, and it's, it's so variable. Yeah. It's, everyone's setup looks different mm-hmm. if I'm doing super high rate product you know a lot of these organic chemicals you got to have very high carrier rates so they're going to be a way more liquid way less efficient system um a big two two gallon an acre fungicide guy and then you have your cover crop trailer Mm -hmm. that's a seed tender really is what it could be so but in saying that 
your tender unit, I, I say 50, 55 acres per hour with this machine. The drone is capable of that as long as we're getting it filled and new batteries, that drone lands and we're getting it off as fast as it can. If we have five minute downtime between flights, you can't expect that, you know? So yeah, you're right on the, you're exactly right right there that your tender system has to complement the drone's efficiency or mm -hmm. else, you Otherwise know, you're losing it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. You need your uh, you need your kids' pit crew to uh, oh, they're, they're, to they're the best at it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How fast can we be efficient about refilling and sending it back out? Pit crew is what you what you that's like what to call you them. Should need, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. So, um, one thought that popped in my mind going back to spraying again, uh, and we talked about height. You know, you're you're getting down to that 12, 15 foot. Um, when it is windier out. Can you fly the drone lower to have less drift? Yes. Yes. How how low how low do you have guys doing that? Probably not a lot of guys go under t 12, 11 oh, okay. feet. Mm -hmm. um, when you start getting that low, you start if you kind of think of the, of the spray pattern, you start losing your width. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys are just more prone to shut down. You know, if yeah. you're pushing a wind a little bit and you're, it's a fungicide, you're not going to hurt anything drift-wise. Um, a lot of guys, you, you'll finish what you're doing, you know. Um, yeah, you, you'll you'll adjust the droplet size right there on the tablet, you know, with a, with a higher wind. Get a little bigger droplet, drop it down a little bit, get that field done and shut down. Mm -hmm. So that seems to be more the technique. As far as getting super low, um, that's a, you know, it's putting your insurance policy at risk right, right there a little bit. So. <laughs> That's Not like right. the drone's going to fall, but you get some elevation change or, or whatever in there. Um, so a big one is actually getting waterways through fields, you know. You got an 80-acre field in the waterway right down the middle. It's that waterway super wide, and you ha you're coming off of corn that's, you know, 9, 10 feet tall. And that, that terrain file is going to drop into that waterway, and it's going to have 9-foot corn right here, you know, oh. on the other side of that waterway. So as soon as it finds that, it's going to see it, but... If you're dropped too low, you're gonna go straight into that corn, and oh, man. you'll either be making silage and get lucky, or not lucky. Yeah, you know? not lucky. So. Yep, probably a lot more not lucky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>